California is just a week into the new minimum wage for fast food workers. The topic sparking conversations and questions like, can fast food chains afford this? And is $20 an hour a living wage? We spoke with a UC Davis professor to bring you answers. A boost in pay for California's fast food workers. The $20 per hour minimum wage went into effect April 1st. The wage raise signed into law by Governor Gavin Newsom applies to fast food chains with more than 60 locations nationally, with some exceptions. Big chains like McDonald's, Wendy's and Burger King must make the change. The pay raise marks a 25 percent increase from California's $16 an hour minimum wage. Some wonder, can fast food chains afford this. UC Davis Public Health Sciences Professor Emeritus Paul Lee says it seems so. Lee has researched the topic of minimum wage, including its impacts on public health. Past five years, there's an, there's an upward trajectory for McDonald's stock. And in fact, uh, today it's about 40, 50 percent higher price. So it seems to me that McDonald's can certainly afford to pay their workers uh, more. Lee also addressed a common misconception that most minimum wage workers are teenagers. The majority of minimum wage workers are not teenagers. They are people in their 20s, 30s, 40s, uh, even some seniors. And um, a lot of these people have um, children. Which brings up the question, is $20 per hour enough to support a family in California? According to data from MIT, an adult would need to make just over $25 an hour, working full time to support themselves in Sacramento County. If we look for, for an adult with one child, the MIT living wage calculator uh, is about $45 an hour. So even this $20 an hour is um, far below what MIT suggests for a living wage. Another big question, will the new wage impact the price of your meal? Lee estimates consumers could see a 5 to 10 percent increase. Starbucks already said they plan to offset the wage by increasing the wage increase rather by changing prices. We're